Engine conversions and repowers are becoming very popular more and more every day. And behind me we've got a, a project here that just came in. It's a 2001 Monero 24 and we're converting it from a Volvo stern drive to an outboard. It'll be a 300 horse Mercury. So the first step, we've got to pull out all the old equipment. So the owner's already done that and he's brought the boat to us with everything removed, transoms all cleared off and we're ready to do our part. So with the uh, motor out, we can inspect the condition of the transom and it's, it's solid. So no repairs needed there. Looking inside, you see the motor's all gone. We're just left with the motor mounts. And the owner has also cleaned off the whole transom because we're gonna have to reinforce that so we can't have anything on there. So the first step that we're doing is filling in this transom hole. Now we put a step in the layers to make it stronger. So he's just cutting out uh, the first layer and then we'll make a piece to fit from the inside and then another piece to fit from the outside. We'll be running a lot of cables through here so we ask that the owner remove the side panel. The transom hole repair is now complete. We glassed over the hole with matte and roving and then fared it with a waterproof filler. And you can see originally the bottom was blue, the, the anti-fallant, uh, then we changed it over to black. But most of this repaired area will be covered by the new motor pod and the rest will be painted with the anti-fallant. Some boats have the epoxy coat underneath the anti-fallant, but this one doesn't. As you can see, we've got a big hole in the swim grid. This used to be a, kind of a platform bubble, which is that. As this swim grid is normally used for when we stretch the hull and the motor would slip back into that pocket. He doesn't have the hull extension, but wanted the swim grid anyways. So this is a piece that will be going in there. It still needs to be trimmed and fit. This will give us the clearance we need for the motor to tilt. Along with that, we need to take a section out of the swim grid right behind it. Here's the inside showing the finished fill-in. It does have also matte and roving fiberglass and the green stuff is the uh, polybond that we use to paste in the plywood. It doesn't need to be any fairing done uh, because not required. We're going to put uh, plywood over this whole surface to give it extra thickness and strength. This piece is now installed. Once we fit it, the joint was around this perimeter here. We glassed it from the underside and then filled the joint, fared it, and sprayed it with the matching gel coat. So it looks like it's an original part of the swim grid. We have added an extra layer of half inch plywood in the transom. To install it, we first put a layer of fiberglass, then screwed it into the plywood behind. Once this is cured, we'll remove the screws and then uh, we'll put another layer of glass over the whole thing. The swim grid has been notched out and filled and fared and we're ready to spray it. transom has been fiberglassed and gel coated and up top you can see we've run 
an aluminum beam for extra rigidity. Here's the pod for the motor it should be designed it still needs to be powder coated you can see the hole in the top you need access inside so you can put the bolts in so this is designed so it'll sit tight up under the swim grid and then we'll have a hatch right in the middle there for access inside so we're going to be fitting that and we'll drill all the holes and then we'll send it out for powder coating. The pod's been uh, fit and mounted temporarily. To put the bolts on we had to cut this hole here and here is the hatch that will cover the hole and seal it from any water getting in. Next we'll be removing this pod and getting it powder coated. The pod is now permanently mounted and on top we've sprayed the non-skid around the surface and down here we'll be putting on epoxy so the first layer has already been done uh, on this face here we now got the motor mounted it's a new mercury four-stroke 300 horsepower uh, ex extra long shaft that would be about 25 inches. And the steering is hydraulic by Seastar. And it runs through these transom fittings, which is uh, by Uflex. And the rigging tube is from Mercury. The motor has been mounted one notch up from the lowest point on the bracket which puts the cavitation plate at about three inches up from the keel of the boat. And this is an ideal position for these motors on our boats. This concludes our portion of this project. The owner has taken the boat home and he will finish off all the final hookups and he has to put the cabinetry in and the seating and then do the sea trial. We're expecting close to 50 miles per hour top speed. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked it.